This is a test to see if we can actually record chapter one of business 64. We're going to start with what is marketing? Well, a lot of students actually believe, and if I were to ask you, if we we're sitting in a face-to-face -face classroom, what is marketing? You would tell me things first probably out of your mouth is advertising and sales. And you're right. Part of marketing is advertising and sales, but that's not all of marketing. In fact, in your textbook that we're going to go over over the course of the semester, we don't even begin to talk about advertising or sales until chapter 14, so that's a long way off. So to really understand what the underlying fundamental definition of marketing is, we need to think about customer satisfaction. Customer satisfaction is when a customer is so satisfied that they come back over and over again. You have to provide value for customers in order to provide customer satisfaction. Value you're going to learn about more in your chapter as we go on. If you do ultimately provide customer satisfaction, then there's two things that customers will do. And we really need customers to do this for our organizations so that we can make more money and spend less in making it. So the very first thing we need them to do, we need them to come back over and over again. It is way less expensive to have a customer, an existing customer, come back in the door than it is to get a brand new one. In fact, some studies suggest that it is 10 times more expensive to get a new customer in the door than it is to get a returning customer. So we need those return customers. And number two, we need those return customers to go tell their friends and their family members and their coworkers and everyone else that they know because it is way less expensive, again, for us to have our satisfied customers spreading the word for us than it is for us to be buying promotions and things of that nature. 